All right, this morning we're going to uh, install the overhead heaters in uh, Crop King Greenhouse. Uh, many ways to do it. Uh, they can be pulled up into position with a rope, or we can use a duck jacket, which is what we have right here. Um, before the covers are put on, they can be lowered from the top. Some people will use a tow motor or a lull uh, and come down through the top before the cover is put on. But today we're going to do what we think is the safest and, and easiest way to do it is using a duck jack. So here we go. We've already put up our uh, our supports for our heaters. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna jack this up and attach them with a threaded rod and uh, this style pipe clamp. It's uh, it's it's kind of like a sprinkler clamp uh, for uh, um, a fire suppression system. It will slide on the pipe up there. Three eighths rod threads into it. We're gonna cut the rod to length to get the proper heat height, heater height. And uh, when we get it up there, these will slide on the pipe so we can adjust it side to side to get it directly in front of our uh, jet fan. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're, we're gonna assemble the, the hanger clamp onto the, uh, the heater support pipe, which just simply goes around the pipe like so. You kind of squeeze it together. And then this uh, nut here goes right through there and then spins in there like that, which then will later thread onto the rod. Okay, so we've got our rods installed and our hangers installed, so we're kind of on final approach here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, jack the heater up uh, about six or eight inches. Dan. Okay, and we're going to hold about right there. Um, Dan, we need the jack to come forward maybe an inch, another inch, looking kind of good. All right, now if you could come up uh, maybe an inch. Hold that. You can see we just started this uh, clamp onto it. Now, we got just a, a little bit of a discrepancy over here. Um, Dan, if you could come up, um, maybe another inch. All right, hold that, Dan. Uh, give me another couple of cranks, Dan. Hold that. And we'll just kind of start snugging these up. You tighten these up, you want to run enough of the nut down onto the rod that you can see just a little bit of it coming out. That way you know you have full contact on that. We're going to readjust the, the one side here just a little bit.
sure to retighten locking nuts on top of the heater. So now we're going to let the heater down and uh, let the support take the weight. All right, Dan, would you let the heater down for us a little bit? It's nice, slow, and easy. Okay, so one of, the, one of the steps that we're going to do now is just, just level the heater from side to side, which you can simply do with uh, the adjustment on these clamps here. We have a just a small torpedo level sitting on top of the heater, as you can see right here. And it's just as simple as just adjusting it in until the heater is level. And, uh, and then remember to uh, snug your locking nuts on your clamps here.